G'day and welcome back to Ducks All Gaming and Ningen Farms. We are continuing on with our work here in Western Australia and we are still at it with this field and ploughing it in where we left off from the last episode. So you haven't missed anything. We've just done a little bit more of the field, that is all. All right, so we are going to continue on. As we said in the last episode, we've got some uh, ploughing to do. Grab the telegraph pole and that power on the farm. Uh, just, yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. All right, we'll, we'll take that as a pass. All right, um, yeah, we've got uh, this field to plough. We've got another field, one of our new fields down uh, down to the south we need to plough as well. We've got our hired hand is still planting our grass over on our new field to our immediate left. Uh, so he's, I uh, don't know how far he's done yet. We'll have to have a look once we finish this field. Um, but he's progressing, which is good. And we've just got this little bit left in here to do. And then we should be progressing, hopefully fairly soon, into the harvesting of our remaining. I think we've got four fields currently with a crop in it that uh, we'll be harvesting sometime in the near future, next couple of days. So, um, yeah. But anyway. So I hope you are well. So like I said, we've basically continued on directly from the last episode. Um, just so you're not missing out on any of the actual work that we're doing, the meaningful work we're doing here on the farm. Um, is it getting a bit boring? Well, if it is, I apologize, but uh, it's just what we have to do. So sometimes we'll be doing a couple of episodes full of harvesting. Other episodes we'll be doing full of seeding or plowing or whatever else. It's just part and parcel of what happens. Uh, we can't really break it up too much because we have to do farming in a certain cycle. Uh, now, one of the things we do want to do after we go into winter is we want to set up um, a bit of a crop cycle. We haven't set that up as yet. So we have no crop cycling set up. Um, I do want to set that up so we get uh, bonus yield and all that sort of stuff out of uh, setting up the right crop cycle. So we'll have a look at that after we um, get through to winter. So that'll be the plan. But for now, we're just going to fly by the seat of our pants and just continue doing what we're doing. So uh, hopefully that is enough to keep you entertained. If not, well, there's not much I can say to that, really. All right. Last little bit here. We got a little strip up here we need to cut off as well or finalize, and then we will be done for this field. All right, last strip here. And there we go. We got a little bit over here as well. We'll just get that. We'll just we'll just make sure we finish it off. Nice little bit. And there we go. So now we can fold up. Here's our combine ready to harvest the corn, which is in that field there. So uh, we're all prepped and ready to go. We're all raring to go to get the rest of the harvest done. All right. And then hopefully we're getting the harvest done. We can make some more money and we can start investing some more into the farm. I don't think I'm going to buy any more fields yet at the moment. I do want to get our, our um, baler. I do want to get the big, the big crone baler. Uh, I want to get that in so we can have that ready for the next rotation of fields, uh, which will be for the next year or the next cycle, um, because we do need to swap out and put uh, probably some wheat in. I don't think we've got any wheat growing yet. Uh, what is it? Wheat? Is it wheat, barley and oats that give us straw? I can't remember, but uh, certainly we'll be able to use it at least on the grass field. So uh, that's why I want to get that baler in. Uh, we can We can bale up the grass with that and uh and continue that on i also do want to get the uh the pelletizer as well um now with that we can actually I, i'm pretty sure we can take pellets straight off can't we I, I don't know i have to have a look again i haven't really orientated myself with it um i think we can create pellets straight from the straw swath or the the grass or hay swath um and yeah what we do from it there i don't know so I'll have to have a look. I'm going to have to play with it off camera or uh, on another solo save and actually just get it to work and see. I didn't 
Um, we we did buy it, FS17, um, back when you had to actually buy it. Um, but to be honest, I, I think I used the baler, um, and that was about it. I didn't actually use do any pellet work whatsoever. So um, we're uninitiated when it comes to doing the straw harvest add-on stuff proper. So um, we'll have to go and have a bit of a look at it. So anyway, we're going to plow in these sugar beets that were withered. Now these withered before we actually owned the land. So it's not our problem, not our loss of crop. We just bought the crop, the, the field um, after they weren't able to gather in their crop. So um, we got it at a bargain price. So we just, we bought it out from under them. And uh, now he's going to plow it all in. And we're going to sow when the time is right, ready for our next crop cycle. All right. We have a tight turn here. Just a little bit there, that'll be okay. All right, off we go. On the northern run now, on the western side of the field. The field 26 isn't a bad size field. It's probably one of our intermediate size fields uh, for the farm as we currently stand. And uh, I'm not so sure what we're going to do down here. 29 south of us has oats in it, so we'll be... Uh, Harvesting some oats from there very soon. So when we bought that field, it had a crop of oats in it. Um, so we probably paid a little bit more for that field, noting the fact there was a crop uh, germinated and growing. Um, whereas this one, we, we got a bit cheaper because uh, they weren't able to harvest their crop and they'd lost a bit of money. So uh, I think we got the, the field at a, at a bit of a discounted price because of that. But uh, their loss is our gain. And uh, we we gave them a fair amount of money for the field, uh, and they were happy enough with it. So um, all round, uh, I think we're okay. So we're just going to continue on and make the most of it. So we do want to check on our other staff member that is currently uh, seeding the grass. As we're going to cut across through here. Um. I just want to see how far he's he's got through with that field. I'm I'm hoping he's not too far from finishing. Actually, he shouldn't be too far from finishing. Um, he's used fifty percent of his fertilizer, so um, yeah, we'll, we'll have to see. Otherwise, I might have to think about uh, going out with the meridian and topping up the cedar. But uh, for the moment, I think we're okay. I think once we've done this this row here, this header. I'll uh, stop and have a look and see what he's doing on the map. All right, so just pull up in here without going into the actual. All right, let's have a look. Where is he at? Uh, he's probably about halfway, actually. Looking at that, yeah, he's got he's got the bigger component of the field done, and now he's just got this area here. So realistically, he's probably about halfway. Um, so it's applying a level of fertilization, which is fine with the fertilizer. So uh, that's good. Uh, and as you can see, that is grass. So I uh, have a nice big grass field there very, very soon. All right, let's uh, continue on here. And we'll finalize this field. And once this is done, I think that's all the prep stuff we need to do for now. Um, I'll have to check to see if I need to run any. I don't know. I don't think I have to do any lime. I think lime we've done uh, there's only a couple of the fields that we've got to harvest that we've got to put some lime on and plow it in but i think okay, other than that we're generally okay for the state of most of our fields so um yeah we're, we're getting there getting there indeed all right um i do want to mention as well i didn't mention in the last episode when i did mention our friends feed guy and Eustace farmer also, to go check out our other friend, Frithgar. Frithgar has just relatively recently, or he's been up and down a bit, has uh, reached his 100,000 subscribers. Um, why am I helping him out? Well, look, other than the fact he's a pommy git, um, I don't really know. No, look, Frithgar's a nice bloke. We um, we effectively got introduced to Frith via Jimmy J. And uh, uh, basically, I was asked to go and help out on their Discord, being a, an admin. And um, and since then, 
uh, got to know Frith relatively well, uh, and he's certainly a friend of the channel and all that sort of stuff. So um, if you're not already a subscriber of Frith and you haven't seen his stuff, go over and check him out. Um, I mean, just forgive the fact that he's he's a POM. Uh, he's he's not as highly rated as us Aussies and Kiwis. I mean, obviously the Aussies are the top of the heap, but uh, the Kiwis come a little bit under. But um, yeah, go go check him out anyway. Nonetheless, uh, if you do, tell him I sent you. Not that that'll actually get you any bonus points or anything. Um, but uh, yeah, let him let him know we sent you over there to, to say good day. But uh, he does some Farming Sim 19 stuff, uh, including some time ups. He does uh, a couple of different series. Does a hardcore series and a normal series and. Uh, he live streams uh, regularly on a Saturday morning Australian time um, and alternates between farming sim and also other games. So uh, he's got content coming out. He does about four or five videos a day uh, between Two Point Hospital and a whole pile of other stuff as well. Uh, similar to what we do. Um, so if you have a choice between Frithgar or me, don't worry about Frithgar, just watch me. Um, but if you, if you feel feel like it then go check out frith and uh and yeah <laughs> just make sure you come back here because anyway all right we'll leave that there. all right frith i'm only joking all right so we are probably about halfway through this field almost content wise and uh we should be Getting very close to just waiting for our harvest now. So um, I'm hoping, I have to check the, the seasons menu but and the, and the crop uh, calendar. But I'm thinking we should be pretty close, probably the next day, <clears throat> to start um, harvesting. So shouldn't be too far off at all. And that'll be a busy time, especially once field three comes in. We've we've got to harvest field three. I mean, that's going to be, as as always, it's a big task. So um, a lot of that will probably end up being done off camera. Uh, I'll tell you that here and now. Just the fact that it's such a big field, uh, I won't bore you with doing that, uh, along with all the other fields in, in sort of one or two or three or four or five or six videos. Um, we will uh, do a fair bit of the work off camera. So we'll probably start it off. Uh, we'll come back to it sort of midway and then uh, come back to it towards the end when we're finishing off. Uh, particularly when we're sort of off selling stuff and or offloading and selling to the market. We'll, we'll sort of show all that sort of stuff. But uh, just for the more mundane aspects of just harvesting, we probably won't show the full harvest on that field particularly because it is so big. However, if you want us to show the entire harvest of that field, let me know in the comments down below. Um, I could do a special video that just has that entire harvest. I could also do it as I suppose as a time lapse, a, a two for one time. So <clears throat> that's certainly an option. But, um, but yeah. So let me know down below what you think. Is that okay with you? Not that I really have that much of a choice. If I choose to do it, that's what I'm going to do. But uh, Anyway, I can give you the illusion of having a true choice, I suppose, can't I? I can ask you and then just choose to ignore it. I, would I do that? Mm, maybe. Anyway, all right, we're going to move along. So what else is there going on? Uh, we've just got to finish this off. We, we have got to do our sheep. I keep forgetting to, to start looking at relocating our sheep. Uh, I think we sort of decided that we're going to do that after um, the harvest. We've got to get some more money in behind us. We need need the money to buy the baler. Um, we've got to spend basically about half a million dollars on the baler. Just that's just the baler, not the not the pelletizer, not the pellet shed or anything else like that. It's just just the baler with the, the baler attachment to collect and discharge three bales at once. Um, we then need to look at the sheep pen, uh, which I haven't added into here yet, which I keep forgetting to add into the game. Um, we've got to choose which sheep pen we're going to use. We're probably not going to use the really big one like we used on Wilhelmina. Um, I'm probably going to use Stevie's uh, sheep pens that he created for Lakeland Vale, uh, which have the animal pen extension by our good mate GTX inbuilt. Um, 
we'll probably probably use utilize that one. Um, we've got to work out where we're going to put that, put the infrastructure in around it, like as in, so we've got to install the water pipes and all that sort of stuff, uh, get the plumbing going. And then we've got to transfer our sheep from the one pen to the other. Realistic, that's just a simple matter of selling them all and buying them again. That's, well, actually, no, we can probably just cheat them in. We can probably just, that's what I'll do. I'll just do them in via XML. So what I'll do is I'll just uh, copy and paste sheep from one pen to another in the uh, the XML. And that way it's uh, it's seamless. And I'll put the same amount of uh, seed and water and all that uh, in that pen. In fact, that, that sounds like a definitely, definitely like the plan. Um, so we'll just transfer everything over to the new pen. So uh, I'm glad we'd worked that out today. And then from there, we then need to work out if we're going to do cows. Now we've got a very small cow pen again at the farm. We've already got rid of the pig pen. Uh, I don't know about doing pigs. Maybe I could do pigs. I'm doing cows, I guess, on Lakeland. I guess for something different, we can do pigs here. Not sure how profitable the pigs are nowadays, though, uh, especially under seasons. But hey, look, it's something we can play around with. Um, so, well, all right, there we go. There's a decision I'm going to make. We'll, we'll do pigs. So we're going to do sheep and pigs on Ningen. Um, now, is it realistic for Western Australia? Well, actually, you know, I don't know. I don't know if there's any piggeries there. Certainly, Aussie, I don't think, has has a big piggery. Um, well, let me get him, May. Aussie, stand, feel free to correct me if, I, if I'm wrong. Um, you, you probably do, considering you've put it in the game anyway. Um, certainly don't have those other four-legged creatures, and rest assured you won't see those uh, anywhere on this map or on any other map that I do. And I, I recently have quite jovially and happily removed the stables from Lakeland Vale. Um, so there's no sign of the horses and there. Oh, sh oh, damn it, I said their name. Right, there you go, $20 for the swear jar. Um, yeah, so I, I removed it from Lakeland and that's going to be our new placeable area. Um, and it's created ni quite a nice placeable area, actually. So, um, yeah, you won't see those on Lakeland Vale. Uh, in, yeah, you just won't see them on any map. Um, I think everyone's well and truly aware of my thoughts of those four-legged things that Giants brought into the game. Uh, and without me going into a full-blown rant again, which generally happens any time I mention them and Giants in the same uh, conversation within an hour, um, suffice it to say you will never see those things on a game in Farming Sim 19 that I play. Yes, I said never. I didn't say never about John Deere, but I am saying never about those four-legged things. You will never see those in one of my games. So, anywho, that being said, uh, I think yes. So we'll do sheep and pigs on this map. We'll do sheep and cows on Lakeland. And we've already got sheep on Wilhelmina. Um, and I think that'll probably be more than enough for Wilhelmina because we're having enough trouble finding any any farm that's sort of anywhere near any any land that's anywhere near flat, let alone enough flat land to put in a set of animal pens and buildings and stuff like that. So um, it's unlikely to be anything more going into Lakeland Vale in that regard. So uh, as we're getting close to finishing this. Um, the attention will then turn to basically the guy, the hired hand that's finishing off the grass, and then it'll be hurry up and wait for the fields to be harvested. So I think after this episode, if another day goes by without the fields coming into a harvestable state, and in fact what we'll do is we want to wait to maximise our harvest, so we're not going to get them as soon as they become harvestable, um, I think we're going to skip a couple of days ahead. So the next time you see us, we may well be at the end of summer. Uh, or we could even be early autumn or fall. Um, time will tell with that, but certainly I'm I'm going to make sure. Field 3, probably not so importantly. I, I can probably start on Field 3 because it's going to take a long time to harvest that. But on the flip side of that, I also don't want to harvest, start harvesting Field 3 with two combines, for instance, um, 
while the other fields come into harvest will state as well. Now, the option I have is I could always lease another combine um, just to go through the harvest. And that's probably the more realistic option I have. I could harvest, I could lease that. The other option I have is I could lease a big combine to do field three. So instead of using the small combines and do field three, I could just, each time we do a harvest on field three, we can just ha um, lease in a big combine. So a big ideal or a big class or something like that. And that probably appeals to me, to be honest. Um, just purely from the fact that it'll get through the field a lot quicker. Um, and I think that's what we might do. So there you go, two decisions in one game. How, how what's going on? Duck, are you okay? Um, so that, that's what we're going to do. So we will lease a big combine. Uh, which combine, I don't know as yet. Probably more than likely the big class. Um, We'll lease a combine for doing field three and we'll leave the class Tucanos that we own uh, for doing the other smaller fields. Uh, also means we're not going to be doing dual combine on a field, so we don't have an auger dance like we did previously um, in this series, <clears throat> which was a bit of a debacle. Um, so, yeah, so that's that's what we're probably going to do. So, uh, yeah, there you go. Making decisions and moving on. <clears throat> as we just wet the whistle right so let's go in here we're going to park this back into the farmyard and we'll see what our hired hand is doing in relation to the grass i think we might grab one of the trucks that's just at the silo here and we'll take there's there's almost a full load we can probably take of i can't remember what it was was it oats i think it may have been oats or something um but we've got a full load almost we can take to to sell I think we might just do that. Um, let's duck him down. Board. A little bit worse for wear. I think we might need to give him a wash. All right, so what have we got? So we've got 17,000 wheat, 100,000 barley, uh, 143,000 oats. So it was the oat. So let's go with the oat. Where are we going to sell it? Um, price is going down. That's not good. Well, I, I think Bruce Bargain is where we're going to go. Bargain. I think. So we can just go straight down between our two fields. Field 13, he's almost finished. That's good. Uh, we can come straight down here and then into Bruce Bargain. Um, I think that gate down the bottom here is open. But that's what we'll do. So we'll go off and sell that. Um, and we'll do that. And that's what will close out this episode because we are at that time. So basically at the end of this episode, we would have had, uh, let's have a quick look, um, out of the fields. Right. So all of our fields have, that are able to have been plowed. Uh, this one here needs some lime. So we've got to spread some lime on that. Uh, we are then waiting for field 11, 12, and three to come into harvest as well as field 29. They're obviously very close. So at the last growth stage at the moment, the grass is now virtually fully planted in field 13. And uh, and yes, that's what we've got to wait to do. So the only job we've got left to do is liming field seven. Um, and then it's uh, waiting for the harvest. So we're getting very close, ladies and gents. All right, so let's just go and take him down, as we said. Not taking anything out, hopefully. Got to tidy this yard up a bit, I think. <clears throat> we'll do that when we come back. And we'll also go to that pressure washer on the way back as well. And give the Ford a bit of a clean. Even the steering wheel looks a bit dirty. All right. Off we go. So that's the bargain basement. So where the, where the roo was running around is where Bruce's bargain basement is. So that's where we're going to go off and load our 120,000 litre of oats. Now it's not going to get us anywhere near as much as the soybeans did. So I reckon this is probably going to get us, I don't know, in the approximation of about 80,000. Whoops. A bit unusual. My, uh, I need to go and fine tune my steering settings. I think it may have reset because it's not as fine as, it, yeah, no, it's definitely, definitely need to fine tune the steering. All right. 
Here we go, down the, south, the southern gate. Northern gate. Right. I've got wombats and kangaroos in the next few kilometres. And here we come. We're going to come up into Bruce's. Now, this is a very tight entrance here. Uh, this one is not very uh, amenable to a road train. Trust me, I've tried already. Um, you can get it in, but it's just not very conducive to it. Right. Very steep entrance to it. The front wheels have come off. Come down. I don't remember. It means we won't be raising it up. Oh, this is actually the... That's no, not raising it. It's just the conveyor belt offload. All right, so how much money are we going to make? Maybe a little bit more than I thought. 102,000, so about 20,000 more than I thought. Okay, that's not too bad. Too steep, too steep. Fifth wheel won't engage because the trailer was actually resting on the frame of this truck. Right. There we go. We've got a little bit more money in the coffers again now. Um, so 200,000, still not enough to buy our baler uh, or anything else like that, but uh, gives it a little bit of extra cash. That's okay. All right, get in here. Better use the indicator off the, off the road, even though there's not much traffic on there. And we're gonna head back over into the farm. All right, so that's it for this episode. So thanks very much for watching. I hope you're enjoying the series. If you are, let me know with a like and also a comment. Uh, let me know what you think of the plans we've just come up with today uh, with the leasing of the big harvester and what else did we come up with? Using the, uh, doing pigs, um, all that sort of stuff. So, so let us know what you think. And uh, we're always happy to have a chat as well. Um, make sure you come and join us on Twitch, Twitter, Facebook, and Discord. The details of all of those are down below in the comments. Don't forget to go over and check out simplysafemods.com. Um, Jerry would be glad to have you over there and tell him we sent you. Again, not that you're going to get a better deal or anything else like that, but uh, just nice for him to know that uh, we've sent people over there and they've found his site. And if we can support him, then uh, we're all better off as a farming sim community. All right. Oh, actually, that's what I was going to do. I was going to go wash it. Let's go wash uh, as we're doing the last of the Siling off. Top H is blocked by an object. I don't know what object's being blocked by, but anyway. All right. So that'll be it. Off the weight. Archer. You know what? I'm going to buy one. I'm going to buy a carcher and put it down here because this is the place where I want it. Anyway, miscellaneous. Uh, where is it? Is it under miscellaneous? No, it's under. Miscellaneous here. All right. Where I put one down already. Oh, right. Okay. Okay. Now we're done. Right. So, after all that, just to get a bloody car to running. So, um, yes. After all that, we've done all the sign off. Make sure you take care of yourselves and your loved ones at this special point in time. And uh, just remember, we will get through it. It's only for a period of time and uh, yeah, we'll be okay. Anyway, thanks again for watching. Make sure if you're not already subscribed to the channel, you consider subscribing. And if you do subscribe, make sure you press that alarm notification icon as well. Be made aware of when more videos are available on the channel, just like this one. And until next time, we'll see you very, very soon back here at Ningen Farms and Farming Simulator. and. Ducks Ollie Gaming. Take care, everyone. See you all later. Bye.